Hi everyone, this is Alan Brandsitter, the ELVP Manager and Facilitator, and in this video we're going to get you oriented to the 2019 ELDP website and the pre-program assignments that you'll need to complete before the first day of class on March 11, 2019. So let's go ahead and dive in. The reason I created this site is so you can access announcements, resources, and other course materials without having to be on a work computer. This website is accessible on any internet capable device, be it your workstation, home computer, library computer, tablet, or smartphone. Uh, even if you've got one of those high-tech smart fridges that can access the internet, you can even check out the website from there. Okay, so the um, first thing that, we'll, that you'll want to do is open up a web browser and type in the website's address. Uh, the website's address is uh, vapahicks.eldp.wordpress.com. This will take you to the website's homepage where you'll find a calendar of events um, at the bottom here. But more importantly, you'll find a menu bar that will help you navigate the site. There are four choices here. The first is Home, which will navigate you back to the homepage. Uh, the second is ELDP 2019 which is where you'll find information and resources related to the current ELDP class. The third is 2019 workshops, which is currently under construction. However, in the future, you'll be able to find uh, where information about leadership workshops that I'll be developing for the second half of the year. Uh, finally, there's contact, which is another way you can get in touch with me with questions or comments. As always, I recommend that you email me directly if you have anything you need to talk about, but know that this is an option too. So uh, let's talk about what really matters to you, which is the ELDP 2019 menu. So if you hover above the menu, you'll see a drop down menu that will lead you to information and resources related to each session of ELDP. If you click on any of the months right now, you'll be taken to a blank page because I haven't posted anything there yet. So for now, everything that you need can be accessed via pre-program. Um, and you'll see uh, that if you hover over pre-program, you'll see a tab for updates. This is where you can go to find important changes or breaking news about information related to the pre-program portion of ELDP. For now, uh, we'll ignore that and we'll stick to pre-program, so go ahead and click on that. This will take you to a list of assignments that you'll need to complete before March 11, 2019. I'll go ahead and walk you through uh, these assignments. So the assignments uh, to be completed before March 11, 2019 are Complete the 360 Servant Leadership Assessment with NCOD, Take the Pre-Program or PELDP Survey, read the assigned articles and or excerpts for discussion in class, and four, prepare to take the Clifton Strengths assignment. So um, first, congratulations on being accepted to join the 2019 ELDP cohort at Vapa Hicks. Again, my name is Alan Branstead and I'll be facilitating this year's program. I've been working hard to redesign uh, this program since May, and I'm really excited to finally get things up and running. We have an amazing slate of topics and speakers lined up for the program, and I'm looking forward to meeting you all personally in March. As ELDP's facilitator, I've tapped into years of experience teaching in the military and higher education. My goal is to provide you with knowledge that will help you take on a leadership role at Vapa Hicks, um, learning opportunities that will stretch and strengthen your abilities, and most importantly, a network of like-minded leaders who will support you for the rest of your professional life. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting with uh, number one, the 360 degree um, servant leadership assessment. So you've all been contacted by Nicole Winslow at the National Center for Organizational Development regarding the 360 degree assessment. If you haven't, please let me know ASAP. This assessment will help you clarify your current leadership skills as well as how the people around you perceive you as a servant leader. If you haven't heard of servant leadership before now, there's a lot of information online about this approach to leading. And to quote the leading organization in the realm of servant leadership, a servant leader focuses primarily on the growth and well-being of people and the communities to which they belong. While traditional leadership generally involves the accumulation and exercise of power by one at the top of the pyramid, servant leadership is different. 
The servant leader shares power, puts the needs of others first, and helps people develop and perform as highly as possible. The U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs as well as many private sector organizations, are making a concerted effort to shift from the old top-down style of leadership and towards the servant leadership model. The more you understand about what servant leadership is, as well as the unique challenges that come with this leadership uh, style, the better equipped you will be to become effective and successful managers in the VA. So the action required here is that NCOD will be leading the charge on the 360 degree assessment. So please continue to communicate with Nicole Winslow about this assignment and notify me at eugene.brandsetter at va.gov once you've received your report. Again, if you haven't heard from Nicole Winslow yet, let me know as soon as possible. Two, take the pre-ELDP survey. Please take the pre-ELDP survey via the following link. This survey takes about 11 to 15 minutes to complete and your responses will help us measure your learning outcomes and the program's short and long-term organizational impact. It will also help me design more training opportunities for you and other non-supervisory leaders at Bapa Hicks. Three, uh, the reading and discussion assignment. In preparation for the first session of ELDP on March 11th and 12th, 2019, please read the following articles and excerpts. I know that this looks like a lot and that you didn't sign up to do a lot of reading um, and I didn't really sign up to do a lot of reading either so we're going to go ahead and break up this list um, by group. So uh, group one, if you could please read uh, item one, two, and three. Group two, please read one, two, and four. And then group three, one, two, and five. Group four, one, two, and six, and group five, one, two, and seven. As you're reading these assignments, I want you to consider the following questions and come ready to share your ideas in class. One, what is leadership? Two, what characterizes a good leader? Three, what was the thesis of each of the readings? Or what point or argument was the author trying to make? Four, how do these readings reinforce what I already think about leadership? Five, how do these readings change how I think about leadership? And six, are leaders born or are they made? All right, next is four, take the StrengthsFinder 2.0 assessment. As part of your ELDP coursework, you'll be participating in a program called the StrengthsFinder 2.0 assessment. This program will help you identify natural talents so that you can grow them into strengths. We'll discuss what this means in more detail in class, but you'll need to do some prep work beforehand. I will be, I, I will be sending you all a personal copy of StrengthsFinder 2.0 via internal mail, so once you get it, please read pages 1-31 through 31 of the book, and use the access code in the back of the book to take your assessment online. I will let you know when they arrive and provide you with further instruction once they do. I'll also add that that 31 pages isn't as bad as it sounds. Um, it's a pretty small book and the print's pretty big, so you'll see it when you get it, but uh, don't be frightened off by that. So as a final note, as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact me via email at eugene.brandstetter at va.gov. All right, so that's all I've got for now. I hope this video was useful to you, and I look forward to talking to you soon.